Hi, this is Jason with Dave's Computer Tips with another how-to video for you. This one's on how to create slash share OneDrive folder. With us all having to work from home still, and we're still trying to keep um, social distancing, we still might have to do some work from home. And doing this, you probably use a cloud server for your files, and I use OneDrive quite a bit since my work requires it, and they have Office 365, and that's a Microsoft program, OneDrive, so that's what I use to share my my files and create new folders for people. So I wanna show you how to do that in this video, how you can create and share those OneDrive folders with other people, clients, friends, family, colleagues, or whatever you need to do, this will show you how to do it. But before we keep going, please hit the like button down below. It really helps out our channel. Also hit the subscribe button and the notification bell icon so you don't miss out on any new how-to videos. Okay, so let's get going. Let's open our OneDrive. Now you might have OneDrive already installed as a desktop taskbar right down here. So it's right here, a little OneDrive cloud so you know where you're going. I have that already installed here so it's easy to get to. So if you do have that installed, go down here and click on the cloud. And it's gonna open up this little box here, tells you what files have been updated or folders. And then what you wanna do is go to down in the middle, you're gonna see view online and that's where you wanna go. So let's go there. And now if you didn't have that on your computer, you can just go to Dropbox um, no, OneDrive. I almost said Dropbox because I use that too. Uh, OneDrive.com. You can type OneDrive.com in the in the address bar and it will bring up OneDrive. It will change it to this because Microsoft owns it, so it changes it then it redirects you. But that's fine. This is where you want to be. So if you're you know, this is another way to get to it, just go OneDrive.com and you're gonna be here. So now we want to sign in to our OneDrive. So right up here to the top right, you're gonna click on sign in. And then once it signs in, it will ask you all your information, which I'm not gonna show you, but I will type it in because it's asking for it. And of course that might take me a minute. Give me just a moment and then we'll do that. Oops, I don't know where the period, there we go. And now I'm gonna go next because I have to have the right sign in address and it's gonna go like this. And the nice thing is I'll put my password in and then I hit sign in. So this will open up my OneDrive. Now, now I'm online under my OneDrive. So what I want to do first, now I like to put my new folders under one main folder, which is the documents folder. So we're going to go there first. So under my files, you're going to click on my the documents folder. So click on that once. And now we're in here. So now we want to create the folder we want to share with other people. So the how to, to do that is you're going to go to the top bar right here under the search box. And you go to the far left and click on new. And that will bring up this little drop down menu and you're going to click on folder, not a word document, nothing like this, a folder. So now it will open up the folder window and it's going to ask you to name the folder. So we're going to say, I named my last one article folder. So I'm going to call this article, article folder two, since this is the second time I've done this. So we're going to create that. So we named it, hit create button right here. And now it's going to create it. And there it is. Now you have created the folder. Now you can add files to it all you want, but I'm going to show you how to share this folder. And you can do this anytime with any folder you have on your OneDrive account. So you just have to hover over the folder and it gives you this nice circle in the top right corner. You're going to click on that. And once it turns to blue, the top bar changes all together. And then now we want to share it. So the way to share it is go to the top bar again under search and go all the way to the left again and hit the share button link. And now here it is. Here's this send link article folder too. So it, named, it tells you what the folder is you're sharing. This is where to send link. They call it a link because they send a link. Now you can send it to a specific person, which is by typing their name or their email address right there. Or, and you can add a message right down here. And then you can also just copy the link and then that way you can share it anywhere you want. So we'll start with, um, let's start with copy the link. So I can show you how that works. So we're gonna click on copy link. Okay, now it just caught, it just created the link for you to share. So you'll have to hit copy to paste it wherever you need it. And that is, so if I hit copy, now I have it copied. So it's copy and paste, it's the basic thing. So that's how you get the link. So you can share that online anywhere you have it and that's how that works. But let's go back. Let me show you how this works because this is this comes into play on both of these. So I'm going to show you how to do it on the other side. So we're going to get out of this and go back to share again because it's still selected. Now I'm going to pick a random person. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's not do that. Let's do this. Uh, yeah. I'm just going to type in a name they don't know. There we go. 
So I'm going to share it with this person. So it comes up down here. So I'm going to click on that because that's the person I want to share it with. And then I can add a message, um, article, since they know I'm doing article. Oh, that's not even article. Wow. Let's go Dutch. Let's get that spelling right, right? <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm like not spelling correctly. Right? See, that's the pressure you get when you're trying to do this on a video for people. Article folder for you. There you go. My wife will love that. Okay, now that you've put the message in, you want to, before you hit the send button, you want to go up to this link right above the name. So you're going to say anyone with a link can edit. So this is where you have the editing um, settings. So we're going to click on it. Link settings for the link. So basically at the top, who would you like this link to work for? Anyone with the link is what's checked off right now, or you can pick specific people. So obviously this specific person is the one I chose, and that's how that one works. So that will make sure that that person I just chose is the only person who gets it. And then if you go down here, other settings, allow editing. What if I don't want them to edit? I just want them to view. Then you uncheck that box. Then the other thing, you can set expiration. So the link only lasts so long. So you can actually have it expire. So if you give them like, you have seven days to check this out. If you don't click the link, then the link is, it will expire on them. So we'll check a different day. So we'll say like the 8th of January. And I'm not going to allow them to edit. I'm going to apply that. And that's it. So once you do that, this person is the only one with that link. So they couldn't share the link with anybody else. And then they would um, you know, be able to get in there too. Not allowing that. So now it's all there. Of course, I just realized, oh, it did. It kept it. I thought I got rid of my message. There's my message. I'll put a smiley face. My wife will wonder what the heck I'm doing. I'm sending her an email. But she's going to get an email. So that's it. So once you're done with that, all the settings are done. We're going to hit send. And then, voila, you have shared your folder from OneDrive. And that's all you have to do. So that's, just, that's how easy it is. So get in there, mess with it, share those folders you need to add folders to it, and that is all you have to do to create and share OneDrive folders. Make sure to check out davescomputertips.com uh, where all, all our articles are, and make sure to subscribe to this channel. And thanks for watching.